welcome. It is with great pride and honor that I welcome each of you to Glen Allen High School Senior Convocation for this wonderful and outstanding group of young people, the class of 2021. Today is a very special day for the class of 2021. It is the day that our community gathers here to honor you at the beginning of your last year in high school. However, it is a different convocation compared to the previous ones in which I've been involved because of the COVID-19 global pandemic. We all remember that day in March that brought what we considered normal to a standstill. This pandemic disrupted the way we did things in school, including graduation, prom, athletics, and our basic day-to-day -day interactions. However, we are resilient, patient, and strong. We don't know exactly what things will look like post-coronavirus. However, we do know that the faculty and staff of Glen Allen High School are committed to celebrating you and your accomplishments. We are in this together, one team, one heartbeat, one family. One thing that is certain, we will see you in your caps and gowns as the leaders of this school. You've earned it, and we will continue to push you to be your best and to do your best. Enjoy every moment of your senior year. At this time, I would like to introduce the president of the senior class, Ms. Lauren Relaford. Good evening. At this time, please stand as we recite the Pledge of Allegiance followed by our national anthem sung by our Glen Allen Rosettes. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early evening we gather to recognize the class of 2021 and this year's senior convocation. The senior convocation is our first assembly of the year and it is designed to prepare us for the busy year ahead. As seniors and leaders of the school this will be the year that wraps up our high school career and prepare us to embark on the next chapter in our lives. We will be faced with many serious decisions many of which will affect our future. However with the support of our parents teachers, family, and friends, I believe the class of 2021 are ready for these challenges. I would like to welcome our parents, families, teachers, and friends who have joined us today virtually. I would also like to welcome those who join me here at Glen Allen today. Mr. Rodney Robinson, our keynote speaker and 2019 National Teacher of the Year. Dr. Amy Cashwell, Superintendent of Himrico County Public Schools. Mrs. Christy Kinzella, Himrico School Board Representative of the Brooklyn District. Dr. Thomas Farrell, Director of High School Education. Mr. Reginald Davenport, Principal of Glen Allen High School. Ms. Stacy Davis, Assistant Principal and 12th Grade Administrator. Ms. Lindsay Panley, Senior Class Sponsor. Ms. Sarah Vogt, Senior Class Sponsor. Ms. Mia Richardson, Senior Class Vice President. Ms. Emma Terry, Senior Class Secretary. Ms. Emma Graff, Senior Class Historian. 
and I'm Lauren Relaford, your senior class president. Thank you. At this time, here are a few special messages from Dr. Amy Cashwell, Mrs. Kinsella, and Dr. Farrell. Hello to the class of 2021. I'm Amy Cashwell, and I'm honored to speak to you today. I want to commend you on leading the way in safety and academics during this unusual year. While our classes are mostly virtual for now, we all look forward to gradually returning to our vibrant high school buildings. No matter which high school you attend, an architect designed it. Seniors, you each have your own construction project, the most important one you'll ever encounter. Each of you is the architect of your own future. I challenge you to cultivate qualities and experiences now that will impact the future for you and for others. As an architect, you design for the present with an awareness of the past for a future that is unknown. Our Henrico Learner Profile contains tools that can help you build for the future. I ask that you think critically, make decisions thoughtfully, seek out patterns and connections. Think creatively, don't be afraid to learn by experimenting. In other words, your superintendent is telling you it's okay to make mistakes. Build a quality character, inspire trust, practice integrity and perseverance. Be a global citizen. You are part of a much larger world and you glimpse it in your own classes, you might know that in our schools, over 100 languages are spoken and students represent more than 100 countries of origin. Demonstrate compassion and respect right now to help create the world you want. Communicate. Do not believe the idea that those who talk the most or are the loudest know best. Actively listen and then express your own understanding of the world. And finally, collaborate. No one builds a skyscraper on their own. It takes engineers, contractors, construction workers, and more. Work with others to reach common goals. We don't know what's to come, but we do know that what you design will inevitably change as your life unfolds. That may seem intimidating, but it's a good thing. You can do it. Ask, what am I good at? What do I enjoy? What does this world need? Use what you're learning about yourself to do what you can today. And so, architects of HCPS high schools, thank you for listening today. It's time to go back to the drawing board and see what you can design today. Welcome to your senior year, Glen Allen class of 2021. On behalf of your Henrico School Board, I wish you every success as you begin your last year in Henrico Schools. 2020 is a year you most likely will remember for the rest of your lives. It is the year of the unexpected, full of changes and growth. Recently, my friend who is a former principal shared his thoughts about change. He said, change is our constant in 2020. Make a conscious effort to anticipate change and you may find yourself feeling less stressed, angry, and defeated. Sound familiar? Can you relate? This year I encourage you to expect the unexpected, embrace change, and remain open-minded and positive. There's so much to experience and learn from your teachers, staff, friends, and parents. Remember, change does not have to be the enemy. Instead, Know it is how you respond and your attitude towards change that will ultimately determine what happens next and how you will impact others in the never-ending process of change. Congratulations and best wishes to you, Glen Allen Class of 2021. Hello, Glen Allen High School, Class of 2021. It is an honor to serve as a speaker for your convocation. My name is Thomas Farrell, and I'm the Director of High School Education for Henrico County Public Schools. This past school year, the class of 2020 experienced a virtual graduation and a lap around the racetrack. And we begin your senior year with a virtual convocation. School, 
for you and your classmates is a little different nowadays. You get to learn from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to navigate crowded hallways to get to class on time. And you no longer have to ask for permission to use the restroom. Although you are not physically in classrooms and walk in the halls of this beautiful school, it is my understanding that you are absolutely rocking virtual learning. The Glen Island High School class of 2021 is making the best of a challenging situation because that's what Jaguars do. But I have a question. What if the environment we are in is the environment you have thrived in and are built for? You are leaders. You have the ability to teach all of us what has come so very easy for you since you were young, technology and independence. The young are the future and it's time for us to create an environment where all of your dreams come true. Whether you are enrolled, enlisted or employed at the end of your high school journey, thank you for blessing us with your gifts and talents. Now is the time to acknowledge your greatness. I don't expect you to know every aspect of your plan, but take the first step this year. The start to your senior year is different and perhaps unfair, but we are depending on you to show us the way. Acknowledge your greatness and know we love you for it. As you continue on your journey to your final year of public education, I encourage you to be grateful. No matter how accomplished and successful all of you turn out to be, take a moment to express gratitude to those who have helped you along the way. Also, take time to quietly reflect and show gratitude for what you have, family, friends, sentimental items, love and support. Remember, there are always those who are less fortunate. Be kind. I'm a firm believer in treating people how you wanna be treated. The Glen Allen community is a great community and imagine how much better this community could be if more people were kind to one another. Imagine how much better our country would be if we demonstrated more kindness. Young people, show us the way. Show us how to be more kind through your deliberate actions. Be collaborative. We've all heard the saying, team, Together, everyone achieves more. As old as that saying is, it still rings true. You will accomplish more in life with people than you will alone. Lead with love. It's been said that love is the most powerful emotion that we can experience. Not only does love conquer all, love motivates and inspires. When you are in a leadership position, and all of you will be, those in your charge will be more willing to go above and beyond for you when they know you love them. And last, but certainly not least, live life with a purpose. Beyond graduating with excellent grades, going to college, or accumulating material wealth, utilize your gifts and talents to have a deeper impact on your community and on our country. We need you. We need your leadership now more than ever. As you climb the ladder of success, ask yourselves, how am I contributing to something greater than myself? Class of 2021, I am honored to have been able to spend this time with you. I have no doubt that all of you will go on to do great things. I hope none of you comes down with a case of senioritis. Have an amazing senior year. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Amy Cashwell, Mrs. Kinsella, and Dr. Farrell for your kind words and for taking the time this evening to speak to us. At this time, I would like to turn the program over to our class sponsors, Ms. Panley and Ms. Vogt, who will recognize the book award winners. Each spring, colleges and universities from around the nation ask high schools to identify students who exemplify qualities and characteristics of an ideal student. These book awards are typically given at the underclassmen awards ceremony that's usually held in the spring, but since we weren't together, Ms. Vogt and I wanted to make sure that we took this opportunity to formally recognize these seniors and congratulate them on their accomplishments. Each year, the Richmond Alumni Panhellenic Association presents an award to a deserving high school junior, now senior. The winner of this award is involved in the community, philanthropic service, 
has a positive attitude, scholastic achievement, and strong leadership skills. This year's Glen Allen High School recipient of the Richmond Alumni Panhellenic Association Award goes to Jada Smith. The Randolph College Book Award is presented to a junior, now senior, who best exemplifies the qualities of character, leadership, and academic excellence within his or her community and school. It reflects the basic principles underlying the Randolph-Macon educational philosophy that our liberal arts mission should be to foster the development of the whole person. This year's Glen Allen High School recipient of the Randolph College Book Award is Hallie Tran. West Point presents an award to a junior who demonstrates exceptional performance in the areas of academics, athletics, community service, good citizenship, and leadership. The 2020 Glen Allen High School recipient of the West Point Leadership Award is Andrew Linton. The UVA Club of Richmond awards the Jefferson Book Award to a junior, now senior, who is an exceptionally talented scholar, leader, and citizen. The 2020 Glen Allen High School recipient of the Jefferson Book Award is Meghna Chowdhury. Each year, the University of Rochester presents an award to a student who has high achievement and rigor in science and math, as well as strong scores on the PSAT or SAT. This year's Glen Allen High School recipient of the Bausch & Lomb Honorary Science Award presented by the University of Rochester is Noah Clements. The William & Mary Leadership Award goes to an outstanding junior who is a visible and dynamic leader in our school. The student demonstrates leadership inside and outside the classroom. This senior has a distinguished record of achievement, is an innovative thinker, and is active in athletics, clubs, and other extracurricular activities. This year's Glen Allen High School recipient of the William & Mary Leadership Award is Adam Huffman. Each year, the University of Rochester sponsors the Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award. The recipient of this award shows commitment to understanding and addressing difficult social issues. The Glen Allen High School recipient of the 2020 Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award is Claudia Sachs. Each year, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute presents an award to an outstanding science or math student. The 2020 Glen Allen High School recipient of the Rensselaer Medal is Chloe Wright. The George Eastman Young Leaders Award given by the University of Rochester is awarded to a junior, now senior, who exemplifies strong leadership experience at school and in the community. The winner has excellent grades and is enrolled in challenging courses, as well as extensive involvement in, in extracurricular activities. The 2020 Glen Allen High School recipient is Kieran Larkin. The University of Rochester is pleased to present the Xerox Award for Innovation and in Information Technology to a student who shows a strong interest and achievement in innovation or information technology. The 2020 Glen Allen High School recipient of this award is Zifeng Li. The Wellesley College Book Award is awarded to an outstanding academic female student who has made significant extracurricular contributions to her high school and or community. This year's Glen Allen High School recipient is Abigail Lee. Randolph-Macon College presents an award to a junior, now senior, who excels in the classroom and participates in extracurricular activities. The 2020 Glen Allen High School recipient of the Randolph-Macon College Book Award is Brandon McKinney. The Henrico Retired School Personnel Association Book Award is given annually to a high school junior, now senior, who has a strong desire to succeed, participates in tutoring peers, soda, and teachers for tomorrow, as well as having extraordinary classroom participation, all of which enhance the learning of others. This year's Glen Allen High School recipient is Emery Hassenstab. The VCU Monroe Scholars Book Award was established by the VCU alumni in 2009 to recognize a student who is considered an exceptionally talented scholar and leader by the school faculty and student body. This year's Glen Allen High School recipient is Harrison Melton. Each year, Harvard gives a book award to a junior, now senior, who demonstrates excellence in scholarship and other non-academic areas. This year's Glen Allen High School recipient of the Harvard Book Award goes to Courtney Sindelar. 
The Smith Book Award goes to a junior girl, now senior, who exemplifies academic achievement, leadership qualities, and concern for others that characterize the thousands of women who have graduated from Smith College. This year's Glen Allen High School recipient is Emma Vick. Congratulations to these seniors. And at this time, I would like to turn the program over to Mia Richardson, Senior Class Vice President. It is my honor and pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Mr. Rodney Robinson. Rodney is a 20-year teaching veteran. He started teaching at Virgie Benford Education Center in 2015, a school inside Richmond Juvenile Detention Center in an effort to better understand the school-to-prison pipeline. The knowledge he gained from his students is helping him develop alternative programs to keep students from becoming part of the school-to-prison pipeline. He has received numerous awards for his accomplishments in and out of the classroom. Most notably, he was named the 2019 National Teacher of the Year. He used his platform as Teacher of the Year to advocate for economic equity and cultural equity to make sure students have teachers and administrators who look like them and value their culture. He has worked with Pulitzer Prize winning author James Foreman to develop curriculums based on race, class, and punishment as part of the Yale Teachers Institute. He was recently named HBCU Male Alumnus of the Year by HBCUdigest.com. He was named number eight of top influential African Americans of 2019 by The Root Magazine. He currently works as a senior advisor for Richmond Public Schools, and he is in charge of the Male Teachers of Color Initiative. His passion is helping the underprivileged and underrepresented populations in America. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Rodney Robinson. Hello, teachers, administrators, parents, family, and friends, but most importantly, the Glen Allen High School Class of 2021. I am humbled and honored today to be a part of your journey. I know some of you are going through a lot of emotions. Some of you are angry because COVID-19 has uprooted your plans for an amazing senior year, some of you are nervous about what the future holds because you've been in school for the past 13 years and everything is new. Some of you are happy because high school hasn't been the greatest experience and you're ready to leave. Trust me, I had those same emotions when I was in high school. First thing I want to tell you is life comes at you fast. I remember two years ago, I was a classroom teacher at Virgie Benford Education Center, working on lesson plans, joking with my students, then all of a sudden, I was named the 2019 National Teacher of the Year. See, National Teacher of the Year is a, it's a really weird award because they give you an award that says you are the best teacher in the country, but then they take you out of the classroom and send you around the world on a tour like you're Miss America. I certainly wasn't ready for that whirlwind of a ride. In the past two years, I have toured every state in this nation, advocating for what students and parents need most for a quality education. I've been featured on numerous national TV events, which is a big deal for me because I suffer from anxiety like a lot of you. I have visited the White House built by my enslaved ancestors. I have talked to every member of Congress and various legislators around the country. I even got a chance to meet the greatest American superhero, John Lewis. And John Lewis actually told me to go out and get into some, some good trouble. I also got a chance to talk to the greatest Canadian superhero, Deadpool. No, seriously, I got a chance to shoot a commercial with Ryan Reynolds. And he's just as funny and sarcastic in real life as he is on TV. But this journey has been changing and so much unexpected. So be prepared for how quickly your life can change once you graduate. The best piece of advice I can give you is to make every situation your own. The first time I was on TV, I literally vomited before I went on TV. The last time I was on TV, I was telling the cameraman how to adjust the lights and even tell them that what was my good side, which is this side right here. That's my good side. But take control of every situation in your life. Learn from it, grow from it. It may be uncomfortable at first, but just grow. Take control of your life and don't let your life control you. See, life, Life is like a boiling pot of water and will test your beliefs and makeup. You can be three types of people. The first type of person is the potato. The potato is hard with a rough skin. This is the type of person who looks very tough, the type of person who snarls when they look at you. They put on a tough exterior. 
If you met this person walking down the street, you might cross to the other side of the street for fear of their appearance. Everything about them says that they're tough. But when you put that pressure of life, that boiling water, the potato tends to slowly break down. Its makeup changes and it becomes soft and mushy, unable to handle the pressures of life. The second type of person is the egg. The egg is very fragile. If you drop the egg, it will crack. This is the type of person who never looks you in the eye. This is the type of person that typically speaks very soft and seem to be very delicate. You would think they would crumble under the pressures of life, but when you put them in that hot water, it will start to harden, and pretty soon they become tough and able to adapt to everything life throws at them. The last type of person is the coffee bean. This is my favorite type of person. The coffee bean appears hard and unthreatening. However, when you add the pressures of life or that boiling water, the coffee bean just doesn't change its composition. It changes everything around it. The bean dissolves and puts a little bit of itself in everything and makes it better. As you go through life, I challenge you to be the coffee bean. Be the change agent for everyone and everything you come across. If you see something that needs to be changed, then you should take on the task of changing it. It won't be easy because people don't want to change. But you can't be afraid to do the things that people are scared to do. You can't be afraid to say the things that people are afraid to say. Muhammad Ali said, a person who is not courageous will accomplish nothing in life. And we need you to be courageous because the world is in trouble. We need leaders like everyone listening to this speech to take hold and be change agents for good. We face threats such as climate change, the rise of right racism and nationalism, toxic masculinity, and genocide. You are all needed to provide the solutions because young people have always led the way for revolutionary change in America. In 1773, when the British were taxing the colonists to no end and the citizens had had enough, it was 17-year-old Edward Garrick who struck that blow against the British outside that tax house which started the American Revolution. It was an enslaved team named Frederick Douglass who grew tired of working and defiantly walked off the plantation, then walked up, went on to become the leader of the abolitionist movement. In Birmingham, Alabama, when Martin Luther King and the adults could no longer protest, it was the young people ages 14 to 17 who were attacked by police dogs and decimated by Sheriff Bull Connor's fire hoses. When America refused to do anything about gun control, it was the young people of Orlando and Parkland, Florida who said, enough is enough, and led a nationwide bus tour demanding gun reform and registering thousands of teenagers to vote. You have to be revolutionary. You have to be able to unite people of all races, religions, sexual orientations, citizenship status, and gender identifications for one cause, and as the betterment of all mankind and womankind. In the words of the immortal Fred Hampton, you don't have to fight fire with fire. You have to fight fire with water. You have to fight their racism with solidarity. You have to fight their hate with an international coalition of all people standing as one for the betterment of the world. You have to be a revolutionary. So I issue a challenge to all who hear my voice. I need you to be revolutionary in everything you do. I need you to stand up and fight for this country. I need you to understand that tu lucha is me lucha. When translated, that means my struggle is your struggle. We need you to create open, inclusive, safe spaces for all. And we need you to understand that black lives matter. We need you to be bold, we need you to be brave, or in the words of the immortal John Lewis, Go out and get yourself into some good trouble. Thank you, class of 2021. I wish you nothing but love, happiness, and success. Mr. Robinson, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to speak to our class. Your words of wisdom will long be remembered by the class of 2021. At this time, I would like to invite my fellow officers to join me at the podium to deliver the charge to the senior class. Have you ever looked in the mirror and asked yourself, who am I? As high schoolers, we've all individually gone through different phases and gone to great lengths trying to answer that question. Furthermore, who are we as a class? As a whole, we've accomplished so much, including having record-breaking and Olympic trials qualifying athletes and athletes who have already committed to college, having state qualifying forensics members and musicians, actors in movies, students who have repeatedly donated to drives and fundraisers, young rights activists who represent our future, students who have created their own businesses over quarantine, and so much more. We've been through a lot together. We were the first freshman class not to place fourth at Battle of the Classes. And let's be honest, we were totally lined up to win last year. The underclassmen didn't know what they had coming for them. 
Oh, and remember that tornado warning that we stayed after school until like 7 p.m. to clear up and we still had a test in every class the next day? Yeah, me too. We've even lost a great deal together. Junior prom, senior homecoming, sports and arts events, and seeing each other in person this year. So now, with the close of our K-12 experience in sight, a new question arises. Who will you become? Consider this. A diligent young lady at James Madison High School in New York, whose mother died a day before her high school graduation, grew up to become the first female Supreme Court Justice and was a huge proponent for women's equality, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Additionally, a man who was voted National High School Basketball, Basketball Player of the Year his senior year, grew up to become the youngest player to debut in an NBA game, won five NBA championships, and won an Academy Award, Kobe Bryant. These two icons, who we tragically lost this year, had big dreams in high school, just like all of us. And look what they became. Our legacy doesn't end here. It's only beginning. In our time at Glen Allen, we've learned about coping with stress, making some timeless friends, and losing some along the way, searching for our identity, and losing our voices from cheering so passionately for the Jags at sporting events. All of these, th all of these things, and so much more, we will take with us wherever we go in life after we leave here. So over the next few months, before we take our final bow, I encourage you to cherish the people, the experiences, and all of the little things that will mold who you are as a person. Because from last March through the, through the beginning of this school year, we may have forgotten what school is, how to write a DBQ, or what it feels like to get up at 8 a.m. for class, but we never forgot who we are. Jaguars, the Glen Allen class of 2021. One team, one heartbeat, one family. Thank you. What do we have left as Jaguars? The answer to this one is different than any year before. As I was writing this, I was looking at past speeches and saw how they talked about how many days were left until our last homecoming, football game, and battle of the classes, and I couldn't help but laugh. Our situation is almost comedic, because the truth is, we don't know what we have left. Everything that defines us as Jaguars, our lasts as senior Jags, it's up in the air, uncertain. So now, as the top of the school, the class with the most on our plate, we have to accept our newest responsibility of stepping up and redefining our senior year. We can leave a legacy of just being the first seniors to have to deal with this, or we can leave a legacy of being the seniors that grabbed virtual learning by the reins and took advantage of any and everything it provided. Is it ideal? No, of course not. But we do have some freedom of expression here. If any class can turn this less than ideal situation into something to be proud of, it's us, class of 2021. We are a progressive, a class of innovators, so let's all come together and realize what we have left is up to us. Good evening, Jaguars. I want each of you to think back to when you were in elementary school. Back in that time, we looked up to high schoolers like they were borderline adults. It seemed like it would take forever for us to reach that point that we're at right now. Even starting freshman year, senior year felt like forever away, like something we were always looking forward to, but never truly realizing how soon it was and what it would entail. Now that we're actually seniors, we have to face one of the most unprecedented, if not the most unprecedented, senior year that anyone has ever experienced. I think we can all agree that these are strange times that we're living in. I'm sure none of us could have ever predicted ending our junior year and starting our senior year around a global pandemic. Spending five months in quarantine has allowed us to experience life when time seems to be at a standstill. But now, we're already a month through our final year in grade school. Time is continuing to move forward, whether it feels that way or not. Before we know it, the end of the year will be here and we'll have to say goodbye to Glen Allen and hello to adulthood. The time is now to begin molding our future as we don't have much time until the future becomes the present. Seven months from now, we'll be gearing up to leave Glen Allen. As famous CEO Michael Altshuler once said, the bad news is that time flies. The good news is that you're the pilot. Each of us are in control of what happens after we leave the halls of Glen Allen. It's up to each of us to recognize the power to shape our destinies that we have. Shaping our destinies isn't something that anyone can do alone, though. We're a family class of 2021. Each of us are here for each other, helping each other succeed hand in hand. Thank you. Why? I recently read a headline story on a local news station. Babies born in the year after 9-11 are now finishing high school during the COVID-19 crisis. Since then, I thought about what our class has seen, endured, and celebrated since our births. In the months following 9-11, we saw a country unite in the face of terrorism. When we were four, many of our perceptions of high school were formed when the movie High School Musical was released. In 2007, when we were five, 
we played on our parents' brand new iPhones. In 2008, we witnessed the first African-American president. When we were 10, one of the first major school shootings occurred and code blue drills were put in place nationwide. In 2010, Glen Allen High School was established. And we only finished elementary school in 2014. All to say, our class has experienced many highs and many lows. When major events have happened, we have an innate drive to ask why. As soon as Governor Northam announced the end of in-person class for the 2019 school year, and the Henrico School Board announced virtual learning for the first quarter, I know many of us asked, why me? Why do I have to endure the supposed best year of high school through a laptop? Questions flood in my head. Will we have a senior football season? Will I ever get to eat in the senior courtyard? What about my parking space? From the very beginning, we knew we would have to face challenges in high school, but none of those questions could have been predicted. This has all been out of the hands of parents, teachers, students, and faculty. Our goal from freshman year was to leave a legacy as Jaguars. We've been through many changes and many challenges, but one thing remains constant, our loyalty to, Gl to Glen Allen and our pride as Jaguars. At pep rallies, BOTC nights, and any Glen Allen event, we chant one team, one heartbeat, one family. There is really no better way to describe the class of 2021. We have had to rely on each other more than ever. Whether FaceTiming throughout the day to stay socially connected or meeting for a socially distant day of virtual learning. As a class, we have made the conscious decision to continue to participate and make our senior year count. As we begin applying to colleges through our bedrooms, figuring out our future plans, and even voting for the first time, keep in mind, we have a destiny to make change. That's our class why. Why we get up every morning to look at a laptop, why we continue to send an example, to make effective change. This is why we are ready for the next step in our lives. Abraham Lincoln once said, the best way to predict your future is to create it. Today, we are surrounded by our family, friends, and teachers because they have been so influential throughout our high school careers and lives. Take it all in, <laughs> we deserve this. Know that the next few months will fly by. Know that being a part of the Glen Allen class of 2021 has prepared us for many challenges we will face. Know that our senior year will be a successful news headline. As the cast of High School Musical once beautifully sang, we are all in this together, Jags. Let's finish high school with the same strength, same determination, and same spirit we started it with. Thank you and go Jags. At this time, with the assistance of class sponsors, Ms. Panelly and Ms. Vogt, we will display the class of 2021 senior banner and it will be on the wall as you enter the commons from the main hall. Before I bestow the rights to my senior class of 2021, I would like to take this opportunity to express how proud I am of each of you. You have officially made it to your senior year, but you are not done yet. You have some work to do in order to graduate. The day where you, guardians, family, friends, teachers, and staff will celebrate your accomplishments. This work includes first and foremost, attending school in all your classes and not letting senioritis kick in. Two, continuing your active participation in and out of the classroom. Learn all you can and be all you can be. Three, enjoy your time here. Trust me, before you know it, it'll be over. I hope the speeches that you heard challenge and motivate you to move onward and upward. Finally, reflect on your journey. Determine the path that you take and walk boldly in your decision, sharing your voice and experiences with others. At this time, I bestow all the rights and privileges to the class of 2021. Details of senior privileges will be posted on Schoology. First and foremost, five minute early dismissal from class at the end of each day. Two, senior videos on the announcements. Give shout outs to staff, friends, 
fellow graduates, and share your GA memories. Three, senior chalking. All seniors will be assigned their very own parking space to decorate with chalk paint. But I'm sure you know, all messages must be approved by admin first. And lastly, senior drive through celebration events where you can see your teachers and show your Glen Allen High School pride. Guardians and guests, thank you for being a part of the special occasion for the class of 2021. I wanna thank Ms. Panley and Ms. Vogt for their assistance working with the senior officers. The Fine Arts Department, Ms. Matthews and the Rosettes, I say thank you for your national anthem today. You all did a fabulous job. And as always, with any program we put on, it couldn't be done without our maintenance, custodial, and secretarial staff. Once again, I say thank you. And this concludes our senior convocation.